My grandmother was a student nurse for her in 1912 in Belgium. She was brought up in Antwerp from when she was five and uh, she signed up to be a nurse and Edith Cavill was the nurse trainer at the time and uh, Granny went there in 1912. She spoke many languages so she was quite happy to work in Flemish or anything else and um, became a student nurse and her parents left in 1913 before the war started and uh, Granny was therefore given to the guardianship of Edith Cavill. Very soon after the onset of the war, the Germans occupied Belgium and Brussels particularly, and it became an authoritarian state really. And my grandmother was a student nurse and Cavill had to send several nurses off to the Palais, the Royal Palais, which became a hospital, just like Buckingham Palace, but in Belgium. And they formed it into wards. And my grandmother, because she spoke so many languages, she was actually asked to be a nurse in the German wards. And that's how, why she died, because she didn't feel she'd done wrong particularly, but she wasn't going to fight the system. And it did actually backfire on the Germans as far as I'm concerned, that many more people joined the, the army and the, the ranks after that in 1915. The Germans thought they were going to be setting an example, shooting women as well if they were doing wrong. And in fact, it worked the opposite. I think nurses give more than their than most people, in some way I personally feel that. And I've been a nurse since 1977 and I feel that the Cavill Trust is necessary. There are a lot of people on very hard times at the moment and if it's anything she wanted, it's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's a wonderful organisation. <laughs>